Uh, hello, I'm back. Took another hiatus. And by hiatus, I mean life railed me in the ass like a train. <clears throat> yeah, anybody who is particularly like in high school, they're a senior, they're about to graduate, they're like, yes, I'm finally free. You are not. Life is a trap and you are going to suffer. So, with that positive vibe check, we have a tool to review. And this is a brand new tool from Gerber. Um, as you all know from my previous posts, I'm a Gerber fan. Um, <clears throat> they've been doing a lot of great work lately, and a lot of people in the knife community have noticed. Um, and um, the great thing about Gerber is if you are someone who um, is particularly uh, smart with your money, you don't tend to spend a lot of um, your budget on expensive knives like this spider co in uh, s110v this is considered cheap to some people apparently so i my white privilege is not working um i i need a refund um <clears throat> also this is a size comparison i've been doing i've been trying to do a smooth transition between the two but it, it's it's a work in progress um and by work in progress i mean it's always a progress to success and I'm trying to capitalize on the success of this tool right here to get view counts because I have a power hungry need for relevance um, like that transition um, yeah we're dealing with a professional here anyway enough of me rambling just wanted to say thank you for tuning in and uh, yeah here is the tool this is the arm bar from Gerber it's a new release from 2019 2020 oh my gosh i still think it's 2019 i think it's because 2020 just started off so shitty that you're just like can we go back <laughs> you know anyway this is a new multi-tool release from gerber and like i showed you size comparison between it and the leatherman wave and the spider Comanix uh 2 and s110b steel which is the same exact as the regular manix but I just wanted to flash that I, I actually have decent products and I'm not just a shill for Gerber. Um, but this really took me um, through a loop in terms of uh, its design. I really like it um, a lot in, in the design aspect of it. Um, it's not perfect now owning it for a few days and sort of giving, getting a feel for it. Um, but uh, I decided I was going to do a review anyway because, uh, yeah, it, a lot of people are interested in it and see if it's good or not. And I'm here to uh, be an opinion on that and one of the earlier opinions. I would have done a video sooner on this, but it's been raining perpetually and uh, I haven't had good lighting slash couldn't go outside because I was getting soaked. Um, the things I do. <laughs> yeah, anyway, moving on. So to start off, there are several components to this tool that I really like. Number one, the knife blade is excellent. It's a stone wash finish. It is two and a half inches. There we go. And the blade steel itself is 7CR 17MOV, which is, from my experience, comparable to the 420 high carbon they use. Uh, not just Gerber, but Leatherman. It's got a good detent, nice opening hole. Very reminiscent to the center drives blade, um, worn cliff style, and uh, it's got a good detent for that liner lock. Now this is the only tool that does lock on this guy. Um, it comes in multiple different colors. Um, there's an onyx, which is sort of an off black, and there's a burnt orange. This one's the urban blue because blue is my favorite color, and I like the off, le less dark blue. Um, the other great tool on this, it's pretty, this entire multi-tool is pretty much half a center drive. Um, cause you got the bit driver and you got the knife that looks a lot like the center drive. And there's a lot of design cues that, and you got the railing system looking thing from the center drive. I sold my center drive cause I wanted a black one. Um, so I don't have that on me currently. Um, but yeah, the tools on the interior of this, well actually it's the show side, so it's not the interior. Um, are on a slip joint and my only major criticism for this I know a lot of people wish they had a clip um, but it's it's supposed to be sort of a Victor Knox style slip in pocket carry and it's actually very very nice to carry that way um, 
but my actual criticism for this is the slip joint for the driver is kind of a dumb idea in my opinion. I respect the engineers at Gerber. Uh, I know a couple of them personally and they do some amazing work. Um, but I would have put a liner lock on that personally or at least a stronger slip joint. Now this is a light duty tool and it's advertised as such. Um, you know, I've been doing some work with it around the house, uh, tightening and loose, you know, loosening um, various nuts and bolts here and there. And for light duty tasks, um, it does just fine. But whenever you start doing heavy torquing, um, the slip joint isn't strong enough to take that and it will kind of disengage if you try to reposition your grip a certain way. Uh, so keep that in mind. This could just be my model, an early production run sort of issue, and the slip joint's actually really strong and this is just a bad version. But I'm not the only one who's had this issue, so keep that in mind um, purchasing this. It's completely fine uh, for what it is, and it, it holds up. You know, it's got you know good lockup. It's just not as strong as I wish it would be. As far as side-to-side -side play, it didn't have any out of the box, and after all the hard torquing that I did, um, it didn't have any um, after that, so it's got a strong pivot. And a little nice detail, you got the Gerber logo right there on the pivot, <clears throat> and a replaceable two-sided pivot, uh, or not pivot, um, bit, of which is a standard. You can fit regular bits in this, um, 3D bits. And uh, it's got a nice close-in click. Very good retention, it's not gonna come out on you. That rattling you hear is the bit itself. Uh, you got an awl, which is really well designed. Don't mind this on my hands. I work at FedEx, so my hands are constantly <laughs> like scarred up and all that. Come on. And this awl is also stonewashed. Again, this has a stronger sort of slip fit than the um, driver, but. Um, and then we have scissors, which from my testing, there we go, um, do well at cutting paracord at max, um, some light cardboard, but not like the double-sided stuff. It'll bind up with the double-sided stuff and, um, <clears throat> does well with paper and stuff like that. It's, it's a pair of multi-tool scissors. It's not much better than, uh, the Leatherman Waves scissors. Um, they're just larger. Uh, you got a butt end, which I've actually used. I've like just hit it on random stuff to see if it'll loosen up, and it doesn't. It's very, very strong. has a slip joint holding it closed, and you can open it. And it sort of has a little slip joint in place for the bottle opener. Nice, satisfying click. Aluminum handles for the uh, show side, by the way. Um... And just a really lightweight package and little details that were very impressive to me like the uh there's a cutout here for the scissors the little handle um come on um fold over so it's comfortable to use the scissors there's a little cutout for that right here so just little design details that i i saw that were really nice it's like oh they, they actually thought of something whenever they were designing this so that's nice um and yeah, it's just a really nice piece. Um, it's not perfect. I think a lot of people would want a pocket clip, so um, Gerber will definitely probably listen to that like they have with the flat iron and come out with maybe a, a new version of this down the line with the clip and maybe a locking driver. That's probably my only major criticism. The tool set's fairly complete for what it is um, and it's pretty useful. And like I said, various options that you can use uh, or uh, get of this guy various different colors and there's even a, a corkscrew version of this um, which is very nice um, but for around $32 is what like Knife Center and Blade HQ have them listed as I think Blade HQ sp specifically um, that's a pretty good price um, I think it's worth it um, it's not as good as I hoped it was going to be but it's definitely not bad but anyway enough of me rambling get you on your way um, that was my review of the Gerber arm bar new for 2020 pretty good piece um, I really like it nice and lightweight and um, really well made for the money so hope you all had a, have a good one and uh, I'll see you next time maybe in another five months or so bye